Hi, I'm Elson. I'm a lead, the lead developer at DM Solutions. Uh, we provide uh, engineering solutions based on our um, discrete element modeling technology, EDEM. Um, it's uh, an application for CAE, for the, the optimization and design of manufacturing processes for uh, the handling of bulk material, granular bulk materials. But what you see here is um, an example of, of a blast furnace that is used for, for metals manufacturing. Uh, the example we've got here is a GPU version against the CPU version. Um, as you can see, it, it runs approximately 10 times faster, um, and uh, the, the use of, of um, AMD's GPU technology and, uh, and OpenCL has enabled us to, uh, to achieve this result fairly quickly. It also allows us to ensure that as technology improves, um, the effort we've put into it won't go to waste, so we can reuse this, the, 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 the code we've done, we can um, improve on it as the technology improves as well, but it's building blocks on what we've got existing already there. I said this is a metal manufacturing example, but our main industry is actually mining and minerals. Um, we, most of our customers in that area use our software to design and um, improve um, systems that transport uh, minerals, iron ore, coal, or even gold. Um, in their cases, what they want to do is to be able to um, have a faster design time without having to build uh, samples or small test cases. So uh, they use our software as a, as a way to shorten their process and as a way to also guarantee quality. So if they're able to predict the behavior of the system, they're able to better control the quality of their builds and to say, okay, instead of having to do maintenance every year, we can guarantee that our, our, our equipment is going to last longer so we can make the maintenance every two years. So that, that's better for them because it's better cost, it's better for their customers because they, they have to have less downtime. Um, and in the case of the downtime for those systems, it can be quite expensive. But that's not all that we cover. When um, our application is, it handles anything that is granular materials. In the case of the, 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 the agriculture industry, they can also use our software to design things like their uh, their machines that handle the grains, because effectively it's all it's all a particle. Uh, at the end of the day, this, uh, anything that can be des des described as a small discrete element, we can we can model. And again, the technology that we've we've been able to use from 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 um, from the GPUs is, is, is such that um, it enables us to achieve results much, much faster. Uh, in, this, in the case of these simulations, uh, they tend to often run for days, even weeks. So a performance improvement of about four or five times can, can make something, some, some process that would take uh, a few weeks to do because you do your design and then you run the simulation for, for a week and then you do it again now becomes much more suitable for, for a day-to-day -day approach where you've got it down to an hour, a few hours, so you, run your, you, you prepare your simulation, you run it overnight, and when you come back in the morning, you've got your results. So you can actually do a lot faster turnaround of your design process. So in order to develop this, we, we, we got a, a quite a good help from, from AMD and their team in terms of uh, expert, expert knowledge and access to, to, to the equipment, which allowed us to develop quite a good uh, capability, um, at least initial prototypes, very quickly and, 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 and estimate how well we could do with, uh, with our development. It's been critical to have access to AMD's um, experts in the field, which may, meant that we could do this in, in a lot shorter time. Um, so the help has been quite appreciated and the partnership is, is one we're quite um, um, happy with. Thank you.